Welcome this week to Here's the Deal, episode six. We've got Troy. Daniel. Daniel. And Troy. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought Justine was going to go, because she usually goes when I try to go. So I was waiting for her to go. You guys really need to say your I'm names. I'm sorry. That was. I'm Daniel. I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> what the fuck's your deal, guys? What's my deal? Yeah, what's your deal? Since you always force me to go first. No, okay. You want to talk about that real quick? You want to talk? We can make no, audio record of that. I don't no, want to talk about it. Let's talk about that real quick. Nope. All right. When we were Guys, first deciding. Uh, no, I want to talk you about know? that. Dan, this is my topic and I'm going first instead of you now. Oh my God, fine. So when we started this podcast, we had a little sit down discussion on uh, how things were going to work. And Daniel's like, we all need to take turns talking about what we want to talk about. About and he's our like, feelings. Yeah. And he's no, like. That's Troy. That's no, all Troy. False. Dan. And then Daniel's like, okay, well, I'll go first then, clearly. And then you guys can figure out what part you want to go So I don't think I said it. Let the record show that Daniel was very condescending. I don't think I was. As per usual. That's not true. As per usual. Per usual. Per usual. Usual, Dan. Usual, dude. How do you spell usual? Let's move past this and get to my topic. You swear. You swear. What are do you, you, what do you want, Daniel? Really talk want to about talk it? Why are you okay. looking at us? Are you ready? Do you even go here? Guys. Who invited this? And guy? girl. Did you know? Maybe she's a guy. What? She can be a guy if she wants to be that. I'm Batman. Don't force Daniel okay. on her. Anyway, Polish officials <gasps> say they found. They found. <laughs> say they found. A secret Nazi treasure train. It's not secret anymore. Well, it was a secret. Not a very good one. So basically, they got some information from some guy who was dying, and he made, he like told them where it was, the secret Nazi train full of whatever. I don't know. They haven't uncovered it yet, but they say they're 99% sure they know where it is. What do you mean? And to not try to loot it because it might be booby trapped. <laughs> so then they didn't find it. They, no, they, they think they knew. Un- well, they know it like where it is. Is it buried in a they cave? S- it, they, um, yeah, how do you on. hide a train? Can we talk about that for a minute? Like, that's, okay. that's impressive. You know, this is what you're, you're bored on the weekend. You go hide an entire 100 train meter train. Train hiding. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's, this is the, I'm not sure if it, this is like a fact or if this is like kind of like, just assumed to be what was happening at the time. It said that in the final days of World War II, as the Soviet army closed in on the Third Reich from the east, a train full of gold, gems, and other Nazi loot was hidden in a secret underground tunnel near the present-day Polish city of Walbrinsen. So, the Underground Railroad? So, so literally the underground railroad and they didn't know where it was. And now someone's saying that they do. And they, the Polish officials were like, we're 99% sure that we have found where it's located. I'm just picturing, I'm just picturing like Hitler, like on Siri, like, or, or Google, like he's like, okay, Google, I gotta hide some stuff. Oh my God. And it was like 600 it meters, turn right. Hitler might have been dead by the time, you know. He was probably dead When already. did Hitler die? Like what year? 1944. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I he's think. probably dead by then. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's I hope they find it. And I hope it's full of gems. And lots of Nazi artifacts, because that'd be really cool. Yeah, and they should pass out all the gems to everyone. Yeah. Not the people who were oppressed by the regime, but me, who was not born and whose family lived in America and was safe the whole war. Your family didn't live in America forever. Yeah, but during the war. To be fair, I wouldn't say Japanese yes, I do. families were safe during the war. That's true, but I'm not Japanese. Japanese? We're not talking about Japanese families. We're talking about he Dan's said, family. He said, yeah. my family lived in America, so we were safe during the war. And Japanese families during the war. Yeah, in Dan, America. you just whitewashed That's history. True. That's true. Dan, just let the record I'm show sorry. that Dan. I used my privilege. Uses white unfairly. privilege daily. 
engaged. But, um, white privilege yeah. engaged. So. Huh. I thought that was neat. Have you ever been to Poland, Dan? No. <laughs> Me either. You ever have their sausage? You ever been to a Turkish prison? No. Why is this not? My headphones oh, are bullshit. fucked up. No, I'm gonna... Troy, what are you doing over there? Troy's diddling himself over here. I think he's playing Peggle. <coughs> no, the new section of Peggle hasn't been unlocked. I was playing Virtual Villager, and apparently the free version, which is shit, um, doesn't let you have a full population. So I don't know what that game is. I'm always trying to have a full population. So I'm just going to delete What's the two big deal about it? Anyway. What's the deal, Troy? What's the big deal about having a full population, Troy? Can you tell me that? Um, What's the big deal? You really want me to sit here and explain <laughs> no, the no, not at all. aspects of I don't care. Virtual Villager? I started playing Hearthstone the other day oh God. just to see what it was. It's a card it's game. It's pretty though. fun, but I haven't played against um, any real people who will just destroy me and make me hate the game. So I'm going to play until that happens, and then I'll probably quit. Quitters. I bought the card game pack on the Humble Bundle one time, which was just like like six <laughs> um, like card game based game like computer games. Uh huh. As I played like all of them for about an hour a piece. It, you just it's something you can't do is play a bunch of different card games. Yeah. And because they all have different mechanics and one. different ideas. I've and gotta keep. Peeking. It's like. It's annoying. No, oh, stop it. Sorry. Go Dude, back. We all know you peaked in high school. It's fine. <laughs> He's yeah. peaking a lot right now, I guess. I guess so. Gross. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, that's not what I meant. But I okay. didn't mean it like that either. I was just okay, you just said well. gross implied. So, no, but I used to play a lot of Virtual Villager when I was a kid. So I found out the first one's actually fully free on Android. And then, like, two and four are free and then they also have paid versions, which I guess means you can get all all the people you want, like as much population as you can fit on those. And then apparently they haven't made three or five for the Android device. So huh. yeah, I just uninstalled two and four though because very interesting. I don't know what that game is. I never played it. It's weird because two and four weren't really optimized for the Android. Like the graphics didn't fit and. There's some weird screen rotation shit, which I don't understand because the first one is like a solid game, like a solid port, and they're all by the same company on the App Store. I just don't know how you're like, we'll just port this one over and then we'll make the other ones really shit. Or like, well, it just looks like they didn't attempt. Maybe the first hard. one didn't make enough money and they were like, we're just going to throw the other ones on there so people will stop complaining to us about it. But they didn't throw them all on there, dude. Well. And from what I've read online, three and five were the more exciting ones. And they put two and four on. To be honest, the game doesn't sound very interesting. It's called Virtual Villager. It doesn't sound exciting. It's like a... It sounds like a... Sounds like What was that Facebook game? It is a farming... Yeah. What was that farm game? Farmville. Farmville. (laughs) No, That game was awesome. It's like you you get some people and they try to survive on this... Like tropical island type thing, and then they have to like do research and like get food and survive. Uh, okay. So yeah, it doesn't sound like what I thought it. You do puzzles was. and like, you know, you have like goals you have to do, and you know, like, there's like a bunch of secret stuff that you gotta try to figure out and unlock, while getting a more advanced technology and getting all your skills higher. Yeah. Would you say it's better than Farmville? Yes. <laughs> I liked Farmville. Fuck Farmville. Um, I played Farmville for like three days. And then Farmville I was, like, this was is a fun. Terrible I was game. Dan. Would, I was uh, wrecking it. Dan. Remember you and your mom used to play it Yeah, a lot. dude. That was awesome. I didn't play it. Let's the trick was you would, you would just plant grapes. Grapes were the best uh, crop to do because they gave you a lot of money and experience and they were cheap. You calculate the DPS on them grapes, Dan? <laughs> no, but I just knew they were the best. Solid game. Yeah. For like no. a little bit when I was like 13. <clears throat> I played 13? Uh, yes. 
That was like two years ago, Dan. No, it wasn't. I was dating you when you and your mom were playing Farmville. No, that's not true. I don't think that's true. I don't. I think I played it in like eighth grade. No, it's sophomore year, Dan. Oh, all right. No. Sophomore year was when Dan I was, was really dating into Dan his junior year. I don't think I played and it. And it was like, much. no. I think I played it like a couple of times to be like, oh, this game your mom, was fun. Whenever I'd come over, she'd ask you about Farmville and you'd go on <laughs> and you'd like send her stuff. That's and true. then you would like harvest your crops. And then I don't remember your mom would harvest <laughs> your crops when you were at like doing stuff. I don't know. But that was definitely when we were dating. So it was. Huh. I remember when they had Frontierville, like one of the sequel games to yeah. that. That I played that a little bit, and you uh, played that more than a little bit. I played that a little bit, and the thing was, like, once the Fourth of July event, because I played it during the summer, once the Fourth of July event hit, you could buy these firecrackers, and the firecrackers like broke the game because they were really cheap and gave you a shit ton of experience. So like, you just you could just spend all your like in-game currency like not shit you actually have to pay money for but you could just spend your in-game currency on a lot of them place them down and you'd get like five thousand of experience when like you only need like a thousand a level to level up or whatever that's pretty good so it was like like i went up like 20 levels in probably about an hour just because of how broken that was and then they nerfed them like in a day or two but it was like yeah the damage had already been done i that's about as much as I played it. I would like the record to show that I never bought anything with real money on Farmville. I just want to put that I'd out like there. I like the record to show that I didn't play those games. Do you guys, they were you guys still spend fun. money on freemium games? No, I have uh, I don't think I've ever bought anything like from no, a free game. Like no more lives or like extra currency or something? No. The I don't Sims think I count? have. Like on the PC? What are you buying? I don't know. I feel like I bought something once on Sims. Like the expansion packs, but you buy them like through the... No, that doesn't That's, count. No, freemium's like, oh, this game's like free, but there's like, you can buy in-game things with real money to make it easier or... I feel like that just makes it weird. Like yeah, now you've really experience. invested. Yeah, the only thing close to that is like a subscription thing. Yeah. I've, I mean... But like free games, and I've paid for the I'm premium just, version. I'm surprised how many people pay for the th- freemium stuff. Like, I don't know, because I don't really like. I never think to spend money on it because also it's like, I feel like that's cheating in a way. Is like, you couldn't just beat the game normally, so you had to get more coins or. It's a socioeconomic statement. More, <laughs> you know. It's I don't know. I feel like I'm cheating. Like, I'm not going to buy more lives in Peggle to beat this level. I'm just going to wait for my lives to respawn because that's how the game's built, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to Well, a lot of them, play like, to win, pay to win, you know? I know, like, a big thing right now is for, like, elementary age kids. They play those online, like, animal games and stuff. Like, like Emily played those games. I don't know, some sort of weird pony or animal thing neopets but like no oh, neopets. neopets with the shit okay well this was like <laughs> four months ago neopets no. really isn't that big anymore is it uh no i don't think anymore no but she plays this game it's like and in the 90s there, like early 2000s thing what they do neopets, like yeah. kids kids these days are like they're smart and they're tricky like the mom you know your mom will put her card on your account and you'll be like cool i'm just gonna buy this one thing like the subscription but then uh it's on the account now so like then they'll buy the like cool shirts and hats and like hairstyles to like be cool to their all their friends that are playing this game like see, i never did that when i was yeah, younger i'd I never be too did scared that. well see stuff like i think aesthetic stuff i like i don't really care about you know if you want to buy like a hat or something or like a skin that's fine but like i don't like the you can get further in this game than someone because you have more, more money yeah. than them. Like anything that's cosmetic is fine with me, but like, yeah. I don't like that whole that idea that I have to bust my ass in a game and you don't because you don't have to bust your ass in real life either. It depends. It depends what Ayo. game you're playing. Because like Hearthstone, <laughs> just as an example, I've heard a lot of bad things because you can buy card packs, but yeah. that's like the point <clears throat> of the game. Like. That's a little bit different. Like, it sucks that you have to play people who have bought card packs if you don't want to. 
but it's a card game and that's like what card games card games are like collecting things that's the point of the game you collect more cards to get better it's just the transfer of the physical medium into a digital medium and and how do you market that well you market that the same way the physical medium is marketed if you can and card games you can so yeah yeah but in hearthstone you can also break apart like the cards you get for resources and make you use those to get better cards and you don't have to yeah it's It's just just harder to do it without spending money yeah well i mean it's still like i don't know if you can do it or not but like as far as card games go you usually you buy packs and they're like five or whatever random cards out of so many cards it's not like it's not like buying specific cards Mm -hmm. just to win yeah you buy the whatever pack and then you'll get yeah certain cards you don't know which ones you're getting that's how i like to play and get cards i don't really like the i'm gonna go online and buy these three cards so i can win and make the perfect deck i'm Mm -hmm. just like if i get them i get them like i'll look up what cards are possible to come in a pack but it doesn't mean you're gonna get them no it's you know it's gonna be buying more packs but but yeah, yeah that's the thrill of it is the just the randomness that's like half the thrill I really don't care about the game as much. Yeah. Yeah. Collecting's just part of the game. Speaking of games. Yeah. What's up? Did you guys see the story about Usain Bolt? Where he got run over by the Segway? Yeah, way to steal my story, Dan. <laughs> Is he a runner? You asked the question. You're yeah. just supposed to say yes or no. He's a, Yes, I heard about it. Okay. I was no. clarifying which one because he also so won. So Usain like, the, Bolt, the thing he was at, he held like two world records for like what is it like one hundred and two hundred yeah. meter sprints. He's like super. He's fast. Jamaican, and it was the joke. The joke, blah. The running joke today on Twitter was that uh, like Usain Bolt, or no one can catch him because he held these world records. But then this cameraman on a Segway runs him over. It's not. It wasn't. Segway. It was one of those rollerboard things too. It, it was, was just. A it was just no, like I thought a it was bigger a Segway. Bird. No, because it. It was I have like a picture, Dan. It might have been a Segway, but it wasn't like a traditional Segway where the things in the front because he had the camera, and that was like nothing impeding him. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna look this up. It's loading. It'd be funny if it's a rollerboard. I'm still surprised I haven't seen any on campus. Like, what? I feel what like that's something heck? a lot of people would just. I mean, if I, if I, if I could, if I just gave in, I would have had one by now. But I don't want to. I hope. It's like I don't those, really want one. It's like one of those things. Like I would want to have, but like I don't know how badly. Like I found them <laughs> for two sixty, on one of those. On like a website that sells like clothing and tech stuff from Asia, and I'm like, do I get it? Because now it's two sixty. Like You're Amazon, just gonna keep getting cheaper though. Exactly. It's like, what point do I just buy it? Right? Yeah. Here's the picture of it. It's got the support is like between his knees. Mm. But the article, uh, the article on. Mail? Maybe it's Segway uh, it says, version 2 or yeah, something. Yeah, it says like Segway. So it might just be like one of their little yeah. versions of their it traditional one. Yeah. It would be pretty useful for doing camera stuff to just those be able to ride one of those around. Check out those oh, yeah, tires, they look, though. They're like, like yeah. really, s- they're smooth, you know? Yeah. I've never ridden Especially on Especially have one. those huge tires. Have you ever ridden on a Segway? Nope. You should uh, You should see a, um, Corridor Digital did like a GTA in real life type thing. And... Uh, they use their rollerboards. They like use a giant monopod with like a GoPro on the end for some of the shots, and then they would roll around on the rollerboards, and it looked like a drone shot, but it wasn't a drone shot. That's really cool. But it's like you can get extra smooth camera work by just using one of those. Yeah, that would be neat. They had like these Segway um, tours over in over like every tourist city that yeah. we went to in Europe. Yeah. And I remember specifically the one at the Notre Dame in uh, Paris because there was this just ridiculously large man. And like when someone, like one of the people was rolling around on the segways, like he looked confused, but like interested. I don't know if he was American or not, but probably because let's be real. 
<laughs> but like the lady kind of motioned at him like you want to take a Segway tour? And like, he just kind of chuckled and like walked away. And I was like, <laughs> he's like a lady. I don't can like morbidly obese people use those things. Yes. Yeah. They're just run by gravity. Aren't they like, like it, inertia a little bit, but it's maybe it's just hard. It's like harder to balance if you're bigger. Oh, I imagine. Or taller or whatever. It's just like, I also remember it because it smelled so bad by the Notre Dame. And I just can't ever forget that sensory like experience i think it would be funny to see a segway tour and then just to roll up next to him on a rollerboard like like you're the new kid in town and they're using this like (laughs) caveman technology doing like an absurd number of things with your hands you're like look at all this hand space i have now i have a soda and a cell phone without those cumbersome handlebars (laughs) yeah they looked pretty sweet i was I was like that jealous, you know, you know what I'm talking about when I say like how toddlers will do that thing where they're like, oh, I wish I had some cake and they just kind of look at you because they, they're they like afraid to ask you for cake because they're like, they know you're going to say no. Yeah, I wish I had some cake too. But like <laughs> kids used to do that. Like, like my friends growing up would do that to their parents, but about things like <laughs> souvenirs and using the cool carts at the grocery store, like stuff that my parents were like, you don't need those. Yeah. I felt like that kid sitting in front of the Notre Dame watching all the people zip around on their segways. I was like, hmm, I wish I could ride a Segway. <laughs> See, another reason I want like the rollerboard is because I hear from people who have the rollerboard that it's a really big conversation piece because no one knows what it is. Mm. Yeah. I think it would be funny to just like roll around. Roll around. Have people stop you like, what is that? And you have to explain yeah. to them, you it's could, a roller board. You could do it on campus and run people over with them. That's what yeah. I would do. Because that's it'd be fun. I'll do it with I would literally just look. Yeah. It would, yeah. It'd be cooler than a skateboard, let's be honest. You know what? It'd, I think it'd really throw people off. Like seeing you from a distance, like, but facing forward completely. Yeah, that rolling. would be confusing. That would be like, a second, like so. I'm gonna buy one of these hovering? now. Uh, you know what sucks? Maybe Speaking of month. campus travel and general things like that, what's up? I ride my bike to class like pretty much every day. Every day, and I ride back and forth at least like twice. Do you ride to the house, right? Or do you drive and then yeah. pick up your bike? No, I just ride straight from oh, okay. the house to campus, and. I'm usually riding, and I try to be really courteous to drivers because I know it's annoying to have to go around bikes and stuff because I'm sure aware of it's the problem. just annoying. But then you see stupid people on their bikes giving other bikers bad names because they're just zipping through traffic, like going around cars and stuff, when, first off, you're not supposed to do that because you're supposed to act as much like a vehicle if you're on the road. You're supposed to, like... Do you use your hand signals? No, I don't, but I usually, like, try to indicate which way I'm going. I'm by going like, that way. They're like, man, you know. he's really good. He's not holding any yeah. of the handlebars. <laughs> uh-huh. But it's just annoying. Like, if you're riding a bike, don't be a jerk to the cars because that's why you're going to get, like, hit because people hate you. That's, like... Yeah. That's what it's I- annoying. Same with on campus. Like, don't ride through crowds of people try to ride on like the less crowded places yeah don't like buzz through a near like flock of bikes in front of the education building yeah there's always a mass of people i get almost hit like every morning that i'm on campus i try not to do that people just their situational awareness is just so low (laughs) either that or they just don't care yeah it's astounding right yeah entitlement Dang, like kids. you're already faster than us. Take the slight, like the three foot longer yeah. route, or just cut through the grass. You have the speed, right? Yeah. Just don't cut off other people. Yeah. Yep. That's, That's annoying. It is. It's you know it's a problem, and uh, I think <laughs> we should a, solve it's it. It's a real problem, and <laughs> just carry like, just stick your foot out every time we someone need to goes by you. Have a class on how to ride. It's one of those uh, mandatory freshman see, orientation yeah, that's like classes. Transportation. How to not be an asshole. Yeah. Let's just let's start putting up signs that are like no bikes on campus. Or It'll no be like on campus. <laughs> it's like in Big Daddy where they People rollerblading so at the down that really fast hill and he just throws the sticks at out in front of them <laughs> to like make them yeah. fall in the water. Yeah. Just throw sticks at them, right? And lock then, that front yeah. wheel. 
Rob Schneider comes down on the like a uh, basket in that shopping cart. Shopping cart, and, like, yeah. Falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Schneider is Rob Schneider. <laughs> no, that's not. you can't steal jokes. That was a good then. joke. It was. You it know was. what that's from? I forget. But South Park. Yeah. Yeah. That was a pretty good one. This episode sponsored I remember by that South Park. <laughs> We don't sponsored have sponsor, by guys. Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Guys, can we? What's what's say That'd the sponsorship really cool. talk till when we get an actual sponsor? If we ever get a sponsor, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we do that? Fine. Can I hold off. <laughs> I'm this running joke that no one's laughing at. No promises. I think it's funny. No one Same. cares what you think. I care. I do. No one listens to this podcast for you guys. Yeah. Huh? They're all here for me. All right. Um, False. If you're listening to this podcast, <laughs> indicate in some way. Blink once if you're listening. Blink once if you're listening. Blink Click your twice. Tongue. Blink twice if you're listening for it solely for Troy. And use the bathroom if you're listening and solely if you're, for Daniel. If you're not listening solely for Troy. Hum then if they're in the room. Hum <laughs> hum the tune to Yankee Doodle Dandy. Make sure I know that no one's else no one else is in the room so I can come and save you. What the fuck is Mittens doing? Ouch. My I can't smell it. I don't know. Mittens so, shit. No. So as we as Justine goes to check, I'd like to reiterate if you're listening to this podcast, blink once. If you're listening to this podcast solely for Troy, no, she fucking shit again in the glitter box. Blink right twice. Next to the glitter box. Right knocks. Oh, are you kidding me? Join us next week. I promise it'll be better next time. Oh my god. Links are in the description. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my god. That was a shitty slap. That was a shitty slap. I'll do it again. You want it? All right. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a good that one. hurt in the morning. That one stung. The first one didn't sting. The could've first one was a terrible Could have been harder. It could have been harder.